Okay, so if you're like me, um, your Wii drive has started to become a bit noisy. Uh, you know, it's not a vibration from the case or whatever. You actually know that it's from the drive. Um, whenever you put a disc in, it starts to make, you know, like a little vibrating noise. I have discovered exactly why it happens um, and a solution to it. So what happens is if you can see right here, you have a little mechanism that whenever you insert a disc, this part goes down and holds the disc in place. Uh, so what happens with that is, watch, as I will show, my Mario Kart here. You'll see it press down right there. And then as you'll notice, a little noise on the startup, but eventually there's still a little bit of noise. But if you'll notice that if I push down right here in the center, almost all the vibration goes away. The reason that is is because this little bar flexes here. So over time, what happens is that it loses its spring action, uh, the tension that it goes on the discs. Um, so like, you know, if you turn off your Wii and then um, leave the disc in, what happens is this bar stays straight and eventually it loses its tension, uh, causing that vibrating noise. So what you do is you unscrew these two screws right here and this whole piece actually comes out. So, let me eject the disc here. So let me just take your screwdriver here. And take that out. And you gotta be careful that you don't lose these screws or they fall inside the drive or anything. And then, so I very carefully pull this whole part out. It just slides right out underneath those two little bars that are right there. Okay, so then if you'll notice the way it is angled, see how it puts tension down on the disc? This part, these two screws right there go in right there and it holds it flat and that part actually goes tension. So what you have to do is kind of just very, uh, very gingerly bend this area right here back down at where these two angles go. Um, it takes a little trial, trial and error, you know, just move it a little bit each time. Um, but eventually it'll start putting uh, the proper amount of pressure onto the disc again and it'll stop making that noise, um, which is actually this plastic part hitting right here. Um, but if you push enough pressure on there, um, it'll actually stop that vibration altogether. Um, so yeah, and then I guess for future, just to try and make sure this doesn't happen again, you might want to just try to leave the disc outside of the Wii. Um, that way it keeps the springing action happening there. Um, and that's what I believe is the uh, explanations and the solution to uh, the vibrating problem.